guys, Dr. Robinson, and today I'm going to show you how to do geometry using Excel. We are going to draw out a triangle. First thing you need to always keep in mind is A is going to represent X, and B is going to represent Y. I'm going to go ahead and do a control home. Minus two, A one. Okay, I've already inserted uh, what we're going to do as an isosceles triangle. So A1 is negative 2. I'm going to hit tab to go to B1. Zero, B1. And I'm going to hit enter, which is going to automatically move me down to A2. Enter, 0, A2. Okay, 0 is A2, and it tells you that. Tab one time for two, B2. Y is 2. Once again, we're doing an isosceles triangle, so you're going to need to hear a lot of 2s. Enter, 2, A3. Okay, and tab. Zero, B3. And again. Now, I'm going to tell you, you must put this remaining number. It is identical to the first one that we did. You're going to hear negative two zero because you want to be able to join the bottom line. If you don't, your triangle will not have a bottom line. Enter minus two a four. Okay, and zero b four. Okay, the way you select all of your data is you need to be inside of your data, and you can do a control a. Select a one minus two b four zero. Okay. Now the next thing you want to do is insert. We insert using Alt N, and we want to go to lines and markers, which happens to be labeled with D. Let's do all N first. Alt N, upper ribbon, ribbon, insert tab, to switch pages, press control tab, alt followed by N. And D. D, weaving menus, insert scanner X, wire bubble chart table, scanner button, navigate with left and right, up and down arrow keys. I'm going to go down arrow to lines and markers. Scanner with straight lines and markers button. I'm going to hit enter. Enter. Ribbon. Chart okay. one graphic. Anytime you insert a chart or a picture or anything on your menu, you automatically have open you have additional items opened in your menu. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three different items. When you are in Excel, when you insert a chart, you have chart design open and you have format. Sometimes it's called chart, sometimes it's design, depending on what office you have. I'm gonna hit my Alt key. Upper ribbon, chart tools, chart design tab, to switch pages, Kristen. And I'm gonna hit JC for my chart design. Your new options always begin with J. Just so you know, if you continue to let Jaws talk, he will tell you that. J, C. Okay. The big one that you always want to go to is add chart elements, and that is A. And is all we're going to do is just a simple data label, but uh, on your own, you can down arrow and hear all of the different options under your R, add chart element, A. A, chart menu, leaving menus, access checks up menu, the move from items, press up or down arrow, alt followed by JCAX. Okay, chart title is another big one. Of course, you can put your horizontal and your vertical uh, chart labels. You can do everything. You can do anything in it, but I'm just going to keep it nice and simple now. Go down to my data labels. Access titles, check, chart title, checks up, data labels, checks up menu, alt followed by JCAX. And I'm going to hit enter. Upper ribbon, data labels, list box, none button selected, the move okay. through the controls on I'm going to hush them up. I like above, uh, but of course you have a lot of options here. I'm just going to down arrow to above. It is A, and Jaws will tell you that also when you get down there. Upper ribbon, data labels, list box, center button. Upper ribbon, data labels, list box, right button to move, above button. Okay, and I'm going to hit above. I'm going to hit enter on that. Enter. Leaving okay. menus, leaving ribbons, book four. Now, Zero, it, B4, chart one graphic. Yeah, it automatically puts numbers in that, but that's not what we really want. We want ABC to go ahead and label our triangle a particular way. So now we need to go into format. Upper ribbon, chart tools, chart design tab, J, A, J, format tab, the switch pages, press control tab, alt followed by Y, J, A. Okay, so the hot key is E to get into your combo box that allows everything. Uh, if I was already in here and I would have only hit escape once, I would have not had my automatic labels come up, so I would have had to tab once. But this time I'm going to go ahead and use E to jump into my combo box. E format, current selection, chart element edit, combo collapse, chart area to move through the controls on this ribbon. Use and I'm going to hush him up. So basically what he's going to tell you is uh, anything that you need to change in your chart, this is where you want to go. I don't need to ch change anything in my chart area. I want to change with my labels. Chart title, horizontal value, horizontal value, plot area, vertical value, vertical value, act series one, series one data labels. Okay, series one data labels. So I'm going to hit enter on that. Enter, leaving menus, leaving ribbons, chart one graphic. Okay, and now, and these truly, truly are images. Even if you have your Braille display, it's just going to say image on it and it's going to tell you what chart it is. You're going to hit enter to uh, enter into the first chart, uh, chart data label. Enter. And it's always Zero, B4, chart one graphic. to the very left. Um, and I can use a superlative on that. I'm always very careful with always and never, but you, it always starts you on the left-hand side and moves you toward the right. I'm just going to label this A. A. Book four Excel. Okay. Formula bar edit A. Type and text. I'm going to tab to the next one. Chart one graphic. 
and you have to hit tab one more time. Okay? Zero, and I'm going type to one graphic. label this being B. Look for Excel formula bar edit B type and tab one graphic. Tab again. And Zero. C. C. Look for Excel formula bar edit C type and text. Tab chart one graphic. Tab. Okay. Zero. B four. Chart one graphic. Whoops. A. Look for Excel uh, formula bar edit A. Okay. Chart one graphic. Beautiful. So I uh, <laughs> did not quite get the A. So do go back around. It did tell me it was zero. Uh, so you can just tab around and just and make sure uh, it is all labeled beautifully. Okay, so after you have this absolutely gorgeous triangle, you want to be able to move this into a Word document. So I'm just going to do a Control C. Okay. And I'm going to open my Word. No, our Word, Word, app, enter. Okay. Menu, leaving menus, document for this case. Ship Windows right here. Paste. And there is this beautiful chart. Now, I always tell kids, I kind of warn them, this is a picture anyway. You can't uh, manipulate this one. But if I went back to Excel and I manip manipulated those numbers, it would manipulate this graph. So when you do another graph, make sure you do a Control N for a new sheet in Excel. I'm going to hit my Control key. Face the recovery table, face mm -hmm. options, new destination theme with link data button selected, yeah. navigate with left no. and right, up and down arrow. And it automatically connects everything up. I'm going to picture button. And you want to go to your picture button. You can also do Alt H to home, V to paste, K for keep, picture only, enter. Print edit. And you have a perfect picture. And that is how you can do geometry in Excel.